Hello, we are making a classic French bread recipe in our Dining on a Dime cookbook, volume one on page 88. You're going to take one cup of really warm water. I like to use this digital thermometer to make sure that my temperature is correct. But if you don't have a digital thermometer, put your finger in and it should be really hot, but not so hot that you can't keep your finger in it. All right, then we're going to add our yeast. and our sugar and we're going to let our yeast get all nice and poofy. Let that sit for about five minutes and that is what it looks like when it starts to grow. Can you see the yeast blooming there? You can just see them popping up all over the place. All right, it's nice and frothy. I'm going to add my oil and my salt. Stir that together. And then we're gonna add our flour. Now I start just shy of three cups. So that's like two and three quarters cups just to get it mixed in. You want to make sure you start with less before you add more. Even then, I probably should have done two and a half because look how dry that is. That's fine. No biggie. Okay, I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit. And now we're just going to add it until we have a smooth dough and add the flour until we need it. And our dough is nice and smooth. Now, I live in a drier climate here in Wyoming, so I need less flour, but if you live in a humid climate, it does affect how much flour you need because there's more moisture in the air and it attracts that moisture. So here in Wyoming, it looks like I'm only gonna need three cups. This is the first time I have made this recipe in our new house in Wyoming. Now, the recipe says to knead 10 minutes, but honestly, I never <laughs> need that long. I really don't. I just, I don't have the hand strength and I don't have a KitchenAid mixer. So if you have a KitchenAid mixer and wanna put it in your KitchenAid mixer, go ahead. just sticking just a little bit. Now I also need in my bowl to just save dirtying the table so much. There, that's getting nice and smooth. Then I also let it rise in the bowl. Just spray it with some cooking spray on both sides and let it rise about an hour to an hour and a half until it's doubled. All right, it's an hour later and it's nice and poofy. Now, if you're making this in the winter, you can turn your oven on for about three to four minutes to preheat and just get it so it's about 100, 120 degrees in your oven. And then you can leave your oven light on and and it will help it rise. Now you're gonna divide it in two, and then you're going to form it in loaves. Now, first I'm going to take my baking tray, sprinkle a little cornmeal on here. You don't need a lot, just a little bit. That way your bread doesn't stick. Now, I just get a little bit of flour, roll it into a loaf, Get it nice and even. Okay, that looks about good. I'm going 
going to set it on our tray. I'm going to do that again. There we go. Then we're going to take a sharp knife, cut some slits across the top. And then we're gonna let this rise about an hour until it's double in size. As I was putting everything up, I realized I forgot my egg wash. There's your egg and your milk. Sorry. And just brush this on top. Now, if you have leftover egg wash, just add a few more eggs and you can have scrambled eggs. Or you can make yourself some French toast with this French bread. Don't let anything go to waste. All right, now we're gonna let it rise. That is delicious. <laughs>